Welcome everybody to Forza Horizon 5 and today we're taking a look at the 2017 Celine S7LM. So this is basically a modernised version of the standard S7 which had production run between 2000 and 2009 and for what I've been able to gather with this car, this production of this you know, limited run updated version of the S7 lasted between 2017 and 2019 and uh, yeah basically it's had um, a whole revision in terms of its engine its aerodynamics and in terms of its interior so it's got an adjustable rear spoiler it's got an intake scoop on the roof to feed the engine uh, cooler, cool air it's got a rear diffuser and forged alloy wheels it's still got a six speed manual but it's also now got a limited slip differential at the rear and uh, yeah it's got a powered uh, uh, doors like that uh, I've forgotten the name that they are called but get the, the fancy doors and yeah like I said the interior has been revised as well so it's got new um, you know materials that are in use it's got an uh, LED um, tachometer and speedo it's got aircon it's got powered windows and it's also got a backup camera as well because I don't think the uh, rear view visibility visibility is going to be all that good especially now that it's got that uh, giant rear spoiler on it so you can see the rear camera here between the L and the E on Celine so yeah it's quite discreet it's also still got four exhausts and yeah I think this looks better than the standard Celine S7 ever did to be honest uh, with the extra aerodynamic um, bodywork and the nice uh, two-tone paint job I think overall it looks really really nice and uh, yeah that is not something I generally said about the original car I think it looked okay but yeah the revisions to this car have uh, definitely improved it We've also got a little bit of boot space up at the front, but yeah, if you're buying this car in terms of practicality, then you're buying the wrong car, quite frankly. But yeah, like I said, the engine has also been revised, so we've now got a 7-litre twin-turbocharged V8, which if it lets me show you... Yep, there we go. So 7-litre twin-turbocharged V8, producing a massive 1,000 horsepower and 850 pounds-feet of torque, which obviously has been surpassed... Um, since with many other cars but this does only weigh 2,950 pounds so that's a lot of power in a sub 3,000 pound car so yeah as you'd expect it is really quite rapid in a straight line but to see how rapid let's get out onto the open road and see what this car can do right so here we are at the drag strip so let's see what this car can do in a straight line before we hit the speed camera and then we'll go around the track where this car is definitely best but still let's see what it can do now surprisingly it puts its power down quite well despite all of that power going through just the rear wheels and yet yeah, it chugs like a train when it, those turbochargers kick in to go along with the turbo the uh, torquey v8 so yeah 172 miles an hour which is extremely good and yeah the uh, car really does pull like a train as you can see because it has so little in the way of weight and it's got a huge amount of torque to go with that horsepower it's just yeah a very good car in terms of mid acceleration and, and more even still the uh, 0 60 acceleration and to 100 is still pretty good but we'll get into that once we get around the track but let's first see what the stats are for this car and then we'll get it round its uh, natural habitat which is the track because as much as a road car this, uh, that, that this is it's uh, the track where this really does shine so yeah we're a low end S2 class and as you can see the stats are all pretty damn good braking and handling have been particularly impressive but the launch is fairly decent for a car like I said that is rear wheel drive and has all of that power going through those rear wheels acceleration is good and the top speed is excellent which is despite all of the downforce that this car is generating and as you can see 40% weight at the front and 60% at the rear but weirdly enough that does not induce a lot of oversteer despite that balance towards the rear because of all the downforce that this car has and the grip from the tyres means that yeah even though uh, you know, getting off at slow speeds in a corner might well slightly uh, get some oversteer it's generally got none at all so uh, yeah let's see what it can do and see what it sounds like and then we'll talk about it some more
So yeah, you can definitely hear the turbochargers on this, but that 7 litre V8 has hardly been uh, you know, nullified in terms of its noise, so uh, yeah, it sounds pretty good on the whole. And yeah, handling and braking wise, it is excellent. It really does have good turning. The down, you can feel the downforce working at the rear end. It does step out slightly here and there, but it's generally at slower speeds where the downforce isn't working at its best. But yeah, for the most part, it is really, really great. And the braking is excellent as well because it doesn't have all that much in the way of weight to slow down. And yeah, that lack of weight also helps in terms of acceleration as well. You can do 0 to 60 in 3.383 seconds, 0 to 100 in 6.2 seconds. And despite all of the downforce from that front splitter and that giant rear wing, it can do 243 miles an hour, which is mightily impressive. So, uh, yeah, overall, I really, really enjoy this car. It's easily one of my favourite of the S2 class cars that are on this game. And for my money, it's more fun to drive than that Zynga that we've already reviewed that is part of the same car pack as this. So, uh, yeah, love it. And it's about time we got a different version of an S7 on this game. I've always heard about the twin turbo charge version of the standard car that was out in like, the mid 2000s which also had a lot of power but yeah to have all of the aerodynamic tweaks to this to make it look better uh, have a better interior and have all of that power and torque on top of all of that yeah makes this a mightily impressive car so yeah highly recommend getting the car pack that this is a part of it's the american automotive car pack and we've reviewed the three other cars in the uh, car pack already the uh, Chevrolet Silverado, the Zynga and uh, the uh, Deberti um, Ford Econo line vehicle uh, hot rod thing. So uh, yeah, and I've enjoyed all four of the cars which isn't typically uh, the case for a car pack. Usually there's one or two that I haven't enjoyed in a car pack but for this one, yeah, love all of them and uh, yeah, that's why this is easily the bargain of the century to get this car pack and uh, yeah, four brand new cars to the Forza series is never a bad thing. Nonetheless, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.